Explosions rumbled through the night after Israel declared war on Hamas on Saturday. Hamas, a militant group from Gaza, coordinated an unprecedented attack early Saturday on Israel by land, air, and sea, shocking the country and the world. And a senior official in Hamas said Saturday's attacks are only the beginning of the conflict. The country right now is just going into fight mode, survival mode. Though Israel and Hamas have been entangled in a decades-long conflict in Gaza, here's why this attack is different and what it could mean for Israelis and Palestinians. This has never happened. Israel has fought many wars against its Arab neighbors, but it has never experienced anything like this, where Palestinians have actually come into Israel proper and committed such widespread attacks. Hamas says it is dedicated to building an independent Palestinian state. The group controls the Gaza Strip, a densely populated Palestinian enclave that, for years, has been under Israeli blockade. The last major conflict between Hamas and Israel was in 2021, in which more than 250 people in Gaza and 14 in Israel were killed. The attacks only stopped after 11 days, when Egypt brokered a ceasefire. Is most interesting is that in recent months, I would say that Israel has actually described Hamas as being somewhat more reasonable and more of a partner than some other elements within Palestinian society. And so it, it seems that whatever Hamas was, whatever message they were sending to the Israelis, it was very clearly deception. Saturday's attack holds deep significance for Israel, as the country has just marked 50 years after the Yom Kippur War. It was October 6th, which is an attack that was launched against Israel by Syria, Egypt, and several other Arab countries, and in which Israel was completely unprepared, had a very similar experience. They were caught off guard. Though caught by surprise, Israeli soldiers fought Saturday evening to regain control and expel militants from local towns and villages. <laughs> Rockets fired from Gaza lit up the sky Saturday night. Israeli forces used their Iron Dome air defense to intercept and destroy the rockets. The death toll from the initial attack remains unclear. As Israel scrambles to assess the situation, the UN said at least 20,000 people in Gaza have been displaced from their homes as of Saturday. Just considering the fact that something like this is completely unprecedented, I would expect them to use all their resources, ground, air, and it's going to be devastating for the people of Gaza. I don't see any other way that this could possibly go. There's going to be a lot of lost lives all across the board. 